Hey you guys, so we're back with another foundation video. Just have to say, if you didn't see my <laughs> IG story the other day, an Ulta employee really pissed me off. And I am PMSing, so let's keep that in mind. Um, but I really wanted to do this on a different foundation, but I've been wanting this foundation anyway. So I was like, all right, look, then it wasn't meant to be, and we'll just get this foundation. This will be great. So that's what we're doing today. We are gonna be reviewing, actually not reviewing, we're gonna be doing a first impression and kind of um, just speaking our thoughts on the new Naked foundation. I was really surprised, unless I'm really blind, to see that Naked Skin, the regular foundation or the original foundation was taken off the shelves. Like. I went to go like make sure my color match was okay because I know I'm 4.0 well even though it's a little bit darker but I know I'm um, I like 4.0 on me so I went to like swatch it next to this one and I was like where the fuck is it but anyway let's get into what I think about these two babies it will be my first time trying these so I'm really excited this concealer reminded me a lot of the uh, Too Faced one that I really really love the Born This Way I am obsessed with that it is literally my favorite found um, concealer of all time right now um, and I love the applicator and that's what this reminded me of so we're gonna see if my first thoughts and first impression of it is gonna be living up to par um, and and then I really hope that this is my color as well. This I swatched next to the Too Faced foundation, or hello. This I swatched next to the Too Faced concealer that I really like and I know that I like the color. Um, so I did that in store, but this one I didn't really have anything to compare it to, I felt like. Um, so I'm really hoping that this matches and this is in the color 41NN. So it is light, medium, neutral, neutral so the master tone is neutral and the undertone is neutral and then for the concealer i got 40 n y so it's light medium neutral yellow you get one fluid ounce in this container right here for the foundation and you get 0.35 ounces for the concealer which i feel like this is like your typical concealer um the only one that i really get a shit ton in is either tarte shape tape or the Too faced one that i really love um but if i love a concealer i don't really care i'll repurchase it over and over and over again this says that it is a correcting concealer that gives up to 24 hour wear and it says that it's anti-crease. So we will see Urban Decay. So the foundation says weightless liquid foundation up to 24 wear. What else does it say? Flexible, breathable, real skin, matte finish, medium buildable coverage, does not transfer, minimizes the appearance of pores, which that is right up my alley. And it says stay true to color, waterproof. I don't know. Really? and does not transfer, like not transfer resistant, it does not transfer. Waterproof vegan formula does not contain animal derived ingredients or byproducts. I love Urban Decay. I will never stop loving Urban Decay. I just, I just do. Let's see what the concealer says. Anything important, buildable, full coverage, flexible, breathable, does not transfer, all the same things as the foundation. So I'm super excited. Let's get in to our thoughts, shall we? All right, so for my face to hydrate a little bit, I did put on some Pixi Glow Serum. My skin is freaking out still. Um, and if you guys do watch my Insta stories, you will know that I used this last night. This is the Vitamin C Caviar Balm. I completely, completely recommend this. It is amazing. I woke up, no flakes. This is definitely a go-to. Um, but then for moisturizer, I did use the Phenomenal Gel as well. And then for primer, I did use this Cucumber 3-in-1 Primer Water. Let's get into this. I'm super excited, you guys. One thing I really like about this packaging is that it's plastic. So if you drop this, you are good to go, baby girl. I love the packaging. It's super cute. It's got this gold or rose gold, whatever color this is. Sometimes I think I'm colorblind. I don't freaking know though i'm gonna use a brush because i did like the previous naked foundation with a brush so i'm just gonna see otherwise i do have a sponge here but let's just see what we like first okay I'm just gonna do a pump and let oh i do like to go darker don't be judging people
I'm actually going to switch brushes. To be honest with you, when I whenever I use a clean brush, I feel like it doesn't apply the way that I want it to. We keep it real around here so you know what I mean, but like um, this is still a semi-clean brush. I did just clean all my brushes. Um, it's just that this one hadn't been used at all. This one I used over the weekend. So I'm just going to go in with this one because I feel like the application I get is a little bit better. Yeah, okay. So this is two light coats. I'm just going to bring it down my neck. Again, don't be coming at me in the comments. I do like a little bit of a darker shade because otherwise I just look so pale. I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see. Um, also keep in mind, I did not put anything extra where I get dry. So just keep that in mind. So I just wanted to give you a good idea of what it looks like side by side. I think the coverage is pretty good. It actually reminds me a lot of the naked skin. And again, this is two light layers. So like it says, it is buildable. Um, the naked skin before this was a medium buildable coverage. And I feel like, I don't know. I. I always love Urban Decay foundations, except for I didn't really like the matte one that much, the all-nighter. I didn't hate it, but it wasn't my favorite at the same time. All right, I'm just going to put a little pump on the brush and buff that into my forehead. But I'm really enjoying more of a medium coverage this this these days <laughs> these days um just because i feel like i don't like when i can like really see foundation on somebody and i know for a while i was like all about that full coverage so i tried to tone it down a little bit you know let's go in with the concealer this is what it looks like again plastic love the applicator reminds me so much of the Too faced one Oh, and it's so creamy. It reminds me so much of that Too Faced one. I'm just going to take a beauty sponge and blend this out. Oh, yeah. I like this a lot. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's a super natural finish. That's the two sides. I don't know why I was going this way. <laughs> I think that looks so good. It definitely looks blurred. Like you can see my pores on each side. It's definitely a little bit more blurred on this area. So let's go in and set this. I'm going to be using a new powder that I got in my BoxyCharm. And this one is by Becca. I've been wanting to try this. This is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. So this is supposed to, this video isn't really about this, but this is supposed to give you like a cooling effect, which is freaking awesome. I'm just going to go in with my regular brush. Oh, that I use. I love that it has a little top. Oh, it does have a cooling effect. That's freaking weird. It's like cool, but it's like weird. It's actually cool too, but. That's so weird. I wonder what's in this. Is there like menthol in this? Let's do the other side except for, let me find my primer. I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer just on my pore area. I'm going to take a full pump on this, what is this, Morphe G36 brush. Yeah, see, I feel like with this brush, one pump is all I would have needed. For one side and then I'm gonna go in with the concealer you definitely don't need a lot like that's pretty good coverage if you ask me for me I don't feel like it's like cakey or anything all right let's go in with a little bit of powder on this side 
this side has the pore filling primer and this side does not. I really don't see that big of a difference. Okay, you guys, so I'm back with the rest of my makeup on. No, just throwing a little mascara and some brows and a lip gloss. Um, but I did put some bronzer, some blush, and a little bit of highlight on. And I do have to say, it didn't skip. It didn't make the foundation move or anything like that. I think it looks pretty good. Definitely let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know also if you guys want to see a side-by-side -side comparison with the original Naked Skin and this Naked Skin. Actually, this is Stay Naked, but they're both a weightless foundation by Naked. Urban Gang whatever. Let me know if you guys want to see this. Let me know if you tried it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, the follow button. You know all that shit. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any additional questions, leave them down below. And until next time, I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.